Factors Affecting Performance As humans, there are multiple factors that can have an impact or impinge our ability when we have to perform tasks. It is worth considering that these factors can have an effect on any task we perform, no matter how simplistic it may be. However, as the complexity of a given task increases, the likelihood of error frequently does also. In this video, we will be exploring the following topics around factors affecting performance. Fitness and health. Stress, domestic and work related. Time pressure and deadlines. Workload, overload and underload. Sleep, fatigue and shift work and distractions. Please feel free to pause this video at any point to take notes. Fitness and health. Most people should be aware that keeping fit and healthy is widely recommended. However, people may not be so aware that a low level of physical fitness can lead to tasks not being carried out correctly or completely, especially if they require physical exertion. Stress, domestic and work-related. Stress is also a huge contributing factor towards mistakes occurring on a day-to-day -day basis. And it is important to remember that this can derive from both domestic or work-related situations, or a combination of the two. No matter how hard we try, it is very hard to separate our work and home life. The two will inevitably affect each other, so it is important that we recognise this. If someone appears to be suffering from stress for whatever reason, it would be wise not to give them a complex or critical task to complete, as this will only add to the stress and increase the likelihood of error occurring. Time pressure and deadlines. On a similar theme to stress, working to tight deadlines and time pressures in general can often lead to error occurring. Ideally, tasks should take place within a comfortable time frame, so they can be planned thoroughly and completed fully to a high standard. Of course, in the real world, having ample time is not always feasible. However, we should again recognise that with tighter deadlines and time pressures, the likelihood for errors to occur or for tasks to be rushed and potentially unfinished increases. Adhering to rules and procedures properly often takes time, so it's understandable that when people rush due to time constraints, people often cut corners and do not fully apply rules or procedures. Workload, overload and underload. Workload, whether it's overloading or underloading, can be a contributory factor towards error occurring. An overloaded workload is perhaps more obvious as this can lead to other factors such as time pressures and stress, like we've already discussed. However, underloading also needs to be considered as it can lead to complacency and a lack of drive in performing a task properly. It is also worth bearing in mind that perceived workload can sometimes be subjective. Some people may be able to undertake far greater workload than others and cope well. Whereas others may seem to struggle with relatively small workload. What is important, however, is that everyone should be supported with managing their workload, both actual and perceived levels, 
to ensure that tasks are carried out properly and safely. Sleep, fatigue and shift work. A lack of sleep, fatigue and working unsociable or erratic shift patterns can be large contributors to error and mistakes occurring. This is becoming more of an issue within various industries, including healthcare, as people are working harder and longer to cater for a 24-7 service, which many in society now expect. Although this is not necessarily a bad thing, we need to be aware that if more people are working longer hours, particularly unsociable ones, then those people have an increased likelihood that they will fall foul to error. It is widely regarded that most adults require around eight hours sleep a day to function properly, although there is obviously some variation with this in some individuals. A good rule of thumb, however, is that for every hour of high quality sleep is good for two hours of activity. If someone appears to be visually tired or fatigued, it is advised that they do not undertake any form of critical task as error is far more likely to occur. Distractions. Distractions are all around us. Often caused by an unexpected interruption by someone or something, our train of thought towards a task can be diverted or derailed completely. As little as a three second distraction can actually double your chances of making a mistake or an error occurring. This could be as simple as glancing down at your mobile phone to check a message. Or someone interrupting you briefly whilst you're talking. If you're interrupted a second time, the chance of error increases tenfold. It is important, therefore, that we appreciate just how detrimental distractions can be to our concentration on tasks, particularly if they are of critical nature. Although some distractions are completely avoidable, others may not be, in particular in healthcare where emergencies arise. We should, however, attempt to develop strategies to ensure distractions are kept to a minimum where possible. We will explore the effect of distractions on communication in more detail in week two.